Hello everyone, in this video we are going to create this amazing particle effect using the extra nodes in Blender. So let's get start. First we are going to add a plane. This is our host object for the particle simulation. Next we are going to add the geometry nodes modifier. Let me delete this. Uh, because we are going to input our own geometry. So here we are going to use the grid. Okay, now we have this. Next we are going to distribute some points on this okay and here you can distribute the points on the surface and also in the volume uh, maybe 500 now we have these points and next we're going to add the xpvd uh, solver node and after that we're going to add the xpvd instancer node so that we can instance some geometry on these points and here we're going to add the icosphere uh, let me move this to this and also increase this size okay something like that uh, so we have these uh, points so here are the settings of this solver node first we're going to decrease the number of sub steps maybe two or three uh, because for this effect we don't need that much uh, sub steps and here uh, we need all the particles from the first frame so let's type one so that we have all the points uh, from the first frame so here we don't need to change anything uh, you can input this if the input geometry is animated otherwise you can leave this option okay and next we're going to randomize the size of these particles so let's add the ks a random node and type here maybe 0 0.01 or maybe small 0 0.0075 and with this factor you can control the randomness and let's change the seed and next we're going to duplicate this node and also we're going to randomize the rotation of these particles let's plug that into this make this one and disable this option and type here maybe 20 okay so we have this random rotation for these particles so next we're going to close this section and for the animate we don't need to change this and here in the dynamics we're going to add the force and change some of the settings so first we're going to make this drag zero and we're going to make this velocity factor 0.1 so this factor is basically control how much velocity we're going to add from the previous frame calculations okay so here we're going to use 0.1 means 10 percent velocity from the previous frame okay and here we're going to input the force and for this we're going to use the surface curl force node so this node is optimized for the surface and there is also general node uh, that is the curl force node that generate the curl in 2d 3d or any other surface okay so here we need to input the field and also the surface so for the surface we're going to use this surface uh, because this nodes calculate the curl on the surface it needs the large number of polygons so we need to increase the number of vertices maybe 60 so that we have large number of polygons let me go to this so we have this much uh, polygons uh, for this grid and here we are going to define the field and for this we are going to use the fall of node to define the field okay so let's add the curve edge fall of node and here we need to input the curve so let's add that here and then plug that into this now if we run this see these particles are moving now we need to increase the strength and here we can also decrease the fall off let me show you the fall off on this grid okay now it's going to only affect these particles that are near to this circle see they are moving based on the curl of this field or this fall off and you can also move them based on the gradient so with this factor you can control this so zero means a pure curl and one means a pure gradient if i make this one it's going to attract or repel these uh, particles based on the gradient like if i make this strength negative five it's going to repel these particles and you can also move this circle so for this effect we're going to combine this maybe point 0.2 
so it's going to rotate these particles and also going to attract these particles see nice uh, let me increase the density maybe 2000 nice and another thing we can do is that we can also store this fall off as the particle color so that we can use that in the material okay next we're going to add the self collision to this enable this option and also enable this option that is rotation based on the collision so now we have this and in the instancer node we can disable the alignment based on the velocity and enable this option that is collision now we have a rotation only based on the collision see these particles are rotating okay so now let's first modify the material and then i'll show you how to mix different falloffs uh, for this node okay so this instancer node come with this particle material xpvt material so let's use that so here is the material so it comes with these nodes so the action node and info node action node provide these kind of attributes for the particles and the info node provide the general attributes of the particles and also the collision attributes okay so in this case we need the color attribute so let's make this black something like that and this we're going to make this like this yellow so that we have kind of gold look for this something like that okay and next we're going to make this metallic and make the roughness maybe 0.5 now let me also hide the hdr image uh, from the background by the way i am using this setup from the easy hdr add-on okay make this one let me increase this maybe 0.25 and slightly make this lighter yeah something like that and 0.55 so later we can change this fall off so now we have something like that and let me see that in this okay and by inverting this we can repel them okay uh, from this circle okay so next we're going to try different falloffs for this uh, let me combine this so first we're going to use the resonance falloff so that is recently added uh, to the extra node let me go to the first frame and let me also invert this color flip this and make this something like that and let's also increase the density maybe 5000 yeah so now we have this so here you can change the pattern maybe play with this amplitude values Uh, we can use another one that is the noise texture let me first show you the noise maybe three zero if we use directly this so we have something like that okay uh, but we're going to use the wave follow with this uh, that will create really nice pattern so here we can change the frequency and also on this phase see now we have this kind of motion we can make this positive okay uh, because this node can take a float field so we can also input the image texture to this so let's add the image texture node plug that into this and here we need to input the uv map 
so for this first we need to store the uv map for this grid uh, because it is evaluating on this grid so let's add the store node plug that into this change that to 2d vector and on this to face corner and plug that into this so let's call this uv map so now this uv map is also available for the particles and also here for this mesh surface okay so let's plug that here and let me show you this see this uv map is available for these particles so that we can also assign this texture based on this uv map uh, for these particles so let's add the texture are we going to use this image texture see we have this and uh, let me go to the first frame see we have this impression of this eye if we run this now we have this kind of pattern okay and another thing we can do is that we can combine these falloffs or uh, let me move this to the side add the mix node so with this uh, you can basically combine them uh, let's say initially we have this texture and uh, we can switch that to the resonance falloff see so we have this kind of transition Uh, you can also add the ks time fall of node to animate this factor let's set time maybe 60 to 75 okay and another thing i would like to show you is that uh, this is not limited to this grid you can input any geometry okay uh, let me move this to this side and connect the noise texture so that will be easy for us for 3d geometry uh, let's add icosphere uh, plug that into this and this to the uv map I'll move this to the side and here we need to change the number of subdivisions uh, let me first decrease the number of points and then i'm going to increase the subdivision maybe five i think noise texture is scale is really high yes maybe one so that we have bigger swirls for this yeah something like that okay now we can increase the number of particles okay so this is the complete node setup for this effect uh, this is it you can get the project files from my patreon page i hope you learned something from this video so if you like then please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates so thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noding bye